everyone, Charmaine here and today we are unboxing another thermal printer. So this was sent over by Pulley Print. So that is the name of this thermal printer. So the company is called Pulley. So that's Pulley with three O's. As I slowly unbox this unit, I invite you to click subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are keen, I have an affiliate discount code which you can use if in case you want to buy this printer. I'll put it in the link below, but you can use my code CHARMAINE15. So now we go to the unit itself. As you can see, it has a very unique bird design that you can see on the unit itself. So the unit is kind of like the profile of the bird and it has like the little eye there and then the little wing and it comes with a beak and the beak comes in different colors i particularly chose the pink one but i think there is a blue one a yellow one and a green one i think yeah and then the beak just attaches on to the side via a magnetic clasp of course we have other things that come inside the box so we have this brochure it's a quick startup guide with information on how to set up or how to use your printer and you also get a charging cord the charging cord has i think this one is a type b plug and on one end which attaches onto the printer itself and a usb cord onto the other end which you can charge i personally charge my thermal printers via the laptop or to a wall charger with a usb port pulley also sent through some sticker rolls for me to try and i will show you at the later part of this video how to swap out the rolls or how to load the unit with a new roll when you get your pulley printer it is preloaded with one roll of thermal paper so in order to check the rolls inside your printer, of course you take off the beak and then push down the front face of your printer and it should slide out like you can see on the video and ta-da! That is your one roll of thermal paper right there. And to secure it back in, just close your unit and then slide it right back up. Here is a side view shot of me opening the unit so you just push down the front face and then just click it open and that was super easy actually and then just slide it right back up now it's time to do a test print and you just press the eye of the bird to turn the unit on you will know the unit is on when you have that light flashing by the wing of the bird first of all you need to download the pulley print app so you can connect to the printer using your phone so just download and set everything up put in your email address sign in and stuff or you can just press x and it'll lead you directly to the app itself even without registering but signing in has its perks because you get to keep a whole bunch of your files and stuff it keeps track of the things that you print and basically you just have an account to come back to in case you uninstall the app or something like that it has similar features compared to the other thermal printers that i have tried but what i like most about the app itself is that there are actually ruler lines so you more or less know what size you're working with when you start laying out so for this test print, I'm just doing one of their templates that they have. You can just download and use the ones that they already have if you fancy a bunch of their designs. This one in particular is like a little frame with the pulley bird character on there. So everything is pretty straightforward. You load an image, you connect with your pulley printer, and then you press print. Then the unit prints. So this is what it looks like when it prints. It's not super fast. I think amongst all the units that I used, the foam memo was the fastest. But what I like most about the pulley print, if I were to compare it with the other units that I have used, is the quality of their thermal paper. The paper feels more firm compared to the other ones that I've tried. I also did a test print for an image. 
so i loaded the image in and i resized it on the app itself but i didn't do much to it i didn't adjust anything i just printed it directly just to see how it would print without being altered i also added some text to test print how the text will render as well and i just pressed print and this is how the print turned out the text rendered great i think my image you can see the image right there but i think it could be improved if i altered the image some more in terms of brightness just pulling out more the details so i wanted to check if it was a picture problem or if it was you know the unit itself but then when i tried using the unit with a brighter picture with more details to it it printed out really well so the details you could see them despite it being black and white so performance wise pulley print did a really good job if you were wanting to buy a thermal printer a pocket printer that is cute as well with a little beak to it you can check out pulley print i think you should pronounce it as pulley print because it has three o's now let's move on to the second part where i will be changing the roll of paper that is inside the unit so i take off the beak open it up by pushing the front face downward and just switch it up so I, it's super easy just take out the old roll and this is the new roll which is a sticker roll just open it up it has a little sticker on it and i just pull it up and then put it onto the cartridge if that's what you call it and snap it right back there and this is how it prints onto the sticker roll so as you can see i'm printing a frame with floral details and the thing about this particular frame is that this is a free printable yeah it's, a bit, it's been a while since i shared a free printable with you guys so i hope you like this one i'll put it in the link below feel free to use it on your journals feel free to use it using your thermal printers feel free to share it with your friends so this is for personal use please do not resell this printable i actually use this frame a lot i use it to label my envelopes for pen pals and stuff this is me showing you the process of decorating an envelope using this free printable anyway guys don't forget to tag me when you use this or my any of my other printables i have a lot of printables i think i already have like five or more which you can use for your projects just don't forget to tag me i would love to see your work and perhaps share them when i have the time again many thanks to pulley print for making this video review possible i cannot wait to try out all the other features that the pulley print app has to offer and i will be sharing a lot of them to you guys on my instagram for more regular updates just follow me there anyway guys i will end this video here while you watch me finish decorating this envelope thank you so much for making it through till the end i will see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this one take care